Hello one and all, this is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to make a mod profile in the basic Minecraft launcher. To start out, we need to have our version of Forge for whatever mod we're going to use. For this example, I'm going to be using Pixelmon, so the version of Forge I need is 1.10.2, and then the following. Uh, this part of Forge is actually the version of Minecraft that Forge is using. Just to uh, note that, so as you can see here, it has every different version of Minecraft. So for the mod you are using, it'll usually say it in the mod. I will bring one up really quick. In all these mods, it says usually what version of Minecraft it's running. Like for this one, it's running 1.11.2. Make sure whatever mod you are using they match the version of Forge, or else it's not going to work. So anyway, we're going to go to the Windows installer. It'll bring up an advertisement. Sometimes these have sound, so I'll just mute myself there if it does have sound. Now you'll see the advertisement page come up. You'll just need to follow Forge. Hit skip, it'll bring up your download link, you just save the file, whatever area you have your installer at, I already, I already have downloaded it, so I already have it, go back here, now once that's done, we need to install Forge itself from the program we just got, gonna open that up, We want to install client. You don't need this mod if you don't want it. So if you just want a little extra space, not be taken up. Just leave that unchecked. This just takes statistics. If I can say words correctly. The download path is fine. Hit OK on that. It'll run the install. And you'll have that in your version folder. Now, there's a variety of ways to do this next step, but this is the method I do. We're going to launch Minecraft. The launcher. We're going to hit these three arrows. Well, three line things. We're going to go to launch options. Click on latest release under game directory. Follow it. Hit the green arrow. You will be brought to this folder path, appdata roaming.minecraft. We're going to select all of these things besides light config, mods. We're not going to select screenshots. You can select things one at a time also, but be highlighting everything by holding down control and left clicking. Now we're going to copy everything we have here. We're going to create a new folder. I already have one created here. I named it Chris's Mod Profile 1.10.2. You can name it whatever, doesn't really matter. We're going to go into here, paste everything that we got. As you can see, I already have done that. Then we're going to go to New. We're going to make a new folder. Make a second new folder. Name one of those new folders Mods. Name the other one Screenshots. Now we don't need this tab anymore. You can exit out of there. Now for wherever you keep your mods, you can go and grab it. I I said I'm doing Pixelmon, so I have Pixelmon right here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring it over into my mod folder. I already have it here, but you'd paste it in. Now that is all done. Now to be using the secondary profile, we want to go back to our launch profile. Also, if you just installed Forge, sometimes uh, you'll need to restart the Minecraft launcher if you already had it running, just to make sure that Forge is loaded in, just to note. And 
Spin out again, make sure advanced settings is turned on. Now, when we are here, you can create a new profile if you don't already have the version of Forge you want up. You want to make sure the version of Forge you have for your mod is running. So, again, for Pixelmon, I need 1.7.2. I'll have that selected. For the game directory, I'm going to go over here to the little folder icon and select the new profile that I just made myself. Make sure that folder path is selected. And now for JVM arguments, you want to make sure that's turned on also. This lets you have more RAM allocated towards the Minecraft game that you're running. This just makes sure that the... If you have multiple mods running, or if you have a not well optimized mod, or if you have a graphically intense mod, things like that, you'll want to make sure that more RAM is allocated. So you can do that at the XMX part, change the number there to how many gigabytes you want allocated. At the end here, change that also. You want to make sure that XMN is less than XMX. This is usually an MB, but I made it go up higher because I felt like it pretty much. You can leave this pretty much like one gig. You don't need it that high. Now once that's done, you have everything you need to launch your profile and uh, play your mod. You can select this tab right here on the right of play. You select what profile you want to use. I just want to select this YouTube one and I'll hit play on that. Now it's important to note here when Forge is launching, depending on what mods you're using, uh, when it's initially loading up, it can say it's not responding. Though, as long as the hammer keeps going, it's not frozen, it is just loading. Don't worry about it. So right here, it doesn't say that right now, but it can sometimes. Like right there, it says not responding. And now it's fading to white, but you can see down there that the hammer is still striking. So that means it has not frozen. I'll try and let this run through to at least show that it is not frozen. <laughs> there. Now I'll skip over the rest of this just so it doesn't take too long. You get the idea. It's loading correctly. Now once you have your mods all loaded up, Forge launched up Minecraft, and all of that good stuff, you'll notice You'll have some different display settings here, well, a different display in general here. You'll see the version of Forge you're running, how many mods were loaded and are active. You'll also notice this new mods tab. If you click on that, you'll see all the mods that are loaded up. You can see that I have my Pixelmon mod right here. I can configure it if I want, and all that. But now, you can go into creating your world. We're playing one. I already have a pre-made world here, so just to skip over that. I'm just going to go into this world and show you that the mod is working correctly. Just to say, this is on a single-player map. If you want to enter into a multiplayer one, you need to make sure that you have the same mods as the server does to be able to go into the server, if it is a modded server. Now, depending on the mod that you're depending on the mods you are using, you'll notice that the load time can kind of vary. It can take a few seconds like it to load in everything. Pixelmon is a pretty intensive mod, so it can take a little bit to load in everything. Though once you have it running, it runs okay. You can throw out your Pokémon. Have them all right. And that is how to make a basic modded profile in the basic Minecraft launcher. I decided to do this video because I know that the Pixelmon website got shut down by the Pokemon company. So I figured some people might want to know how to do this. If anyone's confused on anything, 
are having trouble with anything, feel free to leave a comment. I'll help to the best of my ability. Again, make sure that the mods you are using are using the same version of Minecraft, or else you will get errors and crashes because they're conflicting with each other and can't run on those versions. So just make sure everything's using the same version of Minecraft. You have the right version to forge. Just double check everything, pretty much. I'll make sure to include a link in the description to forge the website if no one knows where it is. Or if you're new to this mod stuff. I'll also try and include basic written instructions in the description if that'll help anyone. If my explaining is not good enough. Besides that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time.